All right, today, folks, I'm going to teach you how to catch a golfer. No, it's a golfer. That, that's why I said it was a golfer. No, it's go golfer. Go, 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 golfer? Golfer. We're going to learn you how to catch a golfer. And so the tools that you're going to need is one of these little stabber things. Um, you're going to need a little tiny little itty bitty shovel. Uh, you can get these at your local uh, Ace Hardware or you can steal them out of your uh, dad's garage. One of the two, they'll always have them. You obviously need a trap. This is just a little trap, okay? You need a trap. I like to have a, a nail so you can get all, this works as a shovel. You can just get all the dirt out of the hole with this. You're gonna need a camera put it in there so we can see what the little bugger's doing down there. You're going to need a bottle of water in case you get thirsty. You need a, a pad in case you have bad knees. You're going to need a home plate. I'll teach that to, that to you a little later. You're going to need some chapstick in case your lips get a little dry. You're going to need some eye drops in case your eyes get a little dry because we are out here in the desert and the uh, most important thing is you're gonna need some pair of uh, pajama bottoms uh, so when people walk by they're like hey he's in pajama bottoms he must be catching a golfer all right let's get going all right as you can see we got a couple holes here and this is only one golfer golfers like to live alone you know they're loners kind of like me you, know, you look at this and you know he's living alone so you want to pick a hole that maybe you can see the hole so we can already see that the hole is right here but if you can't find the hole that's what this little stabber thing is you just stab it until you find a hole whoa, whoa there's a hole right there so we're gonna go on this one now trust me on this I'm really good at this all right now when you're digging the hole you don't want to dig it too big because then the little critter can just go around it instead of going right through the trap. But you don't want it too small because then he won't trigger it. You got to get it at the Goldilocks size. Okay? I'm going to dig the hole now. Come over here. Come over here. Now I'm going to dig a little bit bigger hole because I want to put that their camera in there. To, to catch the to catch the the golfer golfer that's what i said is it it that little critter in the ground well, it makes a big mess in your yard it's a golfer golfer oh golf golfer golfer okay now we gotta see our little stabby thing see which way because sometimes it forks off go this way this way it looks like it's going this way Don't worry about the gopher going and biting your hand off. It's never happened. He's more scared of you than you are of him. Or the other way around. Whatever you want to look at. Alright, so how you set this trap. Oh, look at me. Look at me. And, and a trap. Okay. So how this thing here works up my nose is you gotta have this little pin right in the middle and then you gotta push down and you see there's a little hook here this little hook goes right there right there so when you have it like this he comes along little guy he hits his nose on this boom and this releases that trigger and little snaps him you know it doesn't kill him we're gonna let him we're gonna catch him and just let him go out in the middle you know see these things are really soft so when they go like it yeah it's just gonna be it's just gonna tickle him a little bit so nothing gruesome here see that there set now he's gonna come along trigger that clamp up on him now something i haven't said before what you need is that why you're like why do you have this on there because 
sometimes when they catch it, they like to take it all the way back in there. But if you have it like this, it won't happen. And then there's sometimes there's them, them dogs and them cats, they like to go in there and take it out. But if you have this connected and then you wrap it around this thing a couple times, it ain't go nowhere. Tell you what. Sit that in there just like that. Oh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice. First, I gotta dig a hole for the camera. My mustache is bothering me. Okay, let's dig a hole for the camera. All right, now you're probably asking yourself, why are you inside? Because there's no gophers inside. But I had to show you something. The secret to my success is the secret to how to catch a gopher. Because like I said earlier, sometimes you go down in the hole and it splits into two holes. And that gopher might come at both angles. So you don't know. So it's the secret is to put a trap at one side and a trap at the other side. And that way, you'll get them no matter what. And so I made a little diagram to show you what I mean. There's Operation Gopher. All right, down there in the hole. Can you see it here? Now, if a gopher's coming from one side, and you have the trap there in the middle, and then he comes from the other side, then you'll, you'll definitely get him. But if you don't, and you just set it right down the middle, you see how fat that gopher is down by there, the hole? You won't catch him. He'll just get fatter and fatter. And so this is this is the secret. You got to put two traps down in the hole. But for this purpose, I'm just going to set one because I'm trying to do stealth mode and just put one camera, the stealth, the trail cam camera down there. And so I'm just going to put one trap for now. Okay. Now that we got everything in place and we got the camera down there, we're going in stealth mode to see if we can catch that little critter in the act. Now here comes home plate. And we're gonna put this over the hole just like that because if that little critter, if he sees any little light and sees that trap, he's just gonna run right back around the other way. So we gotta make it nice and dark in there so he can't see it. Now you get the excess dirt and just cover it up. Make sure all the little holes of light don't get in there. And then after that's done, we're gonna give it a good 24 hours and then we'll come back and check the trap. Now, it's earlier in the morning. If we came back tonight, we might get them in the act. Sometimes I've done that, but it's better just to wait 24 hours. Tell you what. Now, the other thing is, is when you have a tool, you need to actually use it. You notice I didn't ever even used it. Ah, that feels a lot better. Trust me, I'm good at this. You never did use your tool of water. Hey, I don't want to hear it from you, young lady. All right, now you got your bottle of water. You're all done, you've got tired. Cheers. And that's that. Tell you what. Then you gotta remember to turn on the camera. So I gotta go with, turn the camera back on. <laughs> Crap. All right, well, happy new day to you. It's been a good 24 hours, so we're gonna see if we can, uh, if we caught our gopher. Uh, caught the little guy. But by the size of these mounds, I, I think he's kind of a big guy, big, probably big fat guy. Uh, so, you know, you got the mounds, you know, and you got home plate here. So you got the baseball mounds and home plate. That's a little baseball reference. Some of you might get that here in a little bit. But let's see if uh, we caught the little guy. Let's uncover this. Here we go. Moment of truth. We'll look down there. Pull our camera out. Oh, it seems a little promising. And we didn't catch the guy. So we're gonna have to try again tomorrow. Dat gum. Dat, dat gum it. Dat gum. How do we not get him? 
All right, folks. Well, here I am at night time after a long, hard day at work. And as you can tell, I still haven't caught that gopher. But I figured out what was the matter. So the first time I'm here at my original hole, and can you see that trap in there? Yeah, that's my trap. And as you can see, he's abandoned this hole. And I figured out what happened before. You know, the little critter, he came by and his dirt, as he pushed it out of the hole, would set off my trap. And so I set it again the next day and he abandoned this hole. And so I'm like, I'm gonna abandon him. I'm gonna abandon this hole too. So come with me over here and I found a new hole. As you can see, this is a lot of dirt right here. And I'm gonna show you this next hole. It kind of looked like this, but now it kind of looks like a war zone, like I've dug a trench during World War I. And so I put a trap right here where this light is. And then he came along and he pushed the dirt up again and set my trap off before I caught him. So I came over here and I dug another hole and I noticed he's right up there against darn sprinkling pipe. And so this is kind of rough. But as I said in my diagram, that I found a hole, his little tunnel. So one goes that way and the other one goes, let's go over here. And you can see the other tunnel goes that way. So I set the trap on both sides. You know what I mean? So that gopher don't get fat, like I said in my diagram. So I got two traps now, and I totally just got rid of the darn uh, trail cam. It wasn't working. So if you're looking forward to that, I'm sorry, but it wasn't working. Stupid gopher. So we're gonna give that another 24 hours, and then come on back. All right, what's up guys? So I had to fire the gopher guy because he just wasn't catching the gopher. It's been like three weeks. He said 24 hours, and it's been three weeks since we've caught the gopher. And it was getting kind of personal. And at this point, I would probably just throw some poison down or put my hose down there and just drown him out. But I won the war. Look what I got here. I mean, this is gotta be like the biggest darn gopher I've ever caught in my life. It's like the 30 point buck of all gophers. And he was also the smartest gopher I've ever met in my life. He would plug up his hole before he got to the trap and then go to a new hole and then do it over again and over again and over again. But I finally got him. But I guess the lesson that you can learn out of this is you just got to keep at it and dig a little deeper and eventually you'll catch the gopher. All right, I'm gonna show you the holes he made. I mean, this hole is about the size of like a rabbit hole. It's so big. All right, let's go show you the other ones. Well, three weeks ago, this is the first hole that we started on and I couldn't catch him. He would plug up his hole. So then I came over here. Or the golfer guy came over here. Uh, look at that trench. Look at that mess right there. So that's the mess he made. I stuck with that uh, trench for a few days. Came over here. He made a new hole over here. And this is his tunnel going this way. I set two traps here. He would plug that up. Made a new home here. I still have two traps down in there. And I figured I would go buy myself. Maybe it's these old traps that are just not working. So I went and bought some new traps. And then he made a new hole over here. This is where home plate is. Still, he would plug up his hole. And you can see this goes all the way over here, almost to the, to the road and then back down the cement barrier. Finally caught him on like day 21. All right, well, like the gopher guy said, this is uh, gonna be catch and release. We caught him, now we're gonna release him. 
And we're going to give him to the, uh, the garbage man. And he's going to take him to the landfill, which is like the biggest mound in the world to these gophers. This is going to be literally like gopher heaven. So here we go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't subscribe to that uh, Gopher Guy channel. Subscribe to my channel, Fix Your Divot. And uh, I'll see you on my next video. Maybe it won't be so gruesome. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.